Hey guys, this week I got my J Japan crate. I ordered this thing last month, but it just came actually today. So I thought I'd open it and show you all what's inside. Just kind of like a side note before we begin, if you have not received your Japan crate yet and you have ordered one, then I recommend not watching this video because then I'll spoil it for you. So click out of this video right now because I'm about to open it. Oh cool. Oh, it's so cute. So, this is what it looks like inside. Um, oh, okay, this like shows you what's actually in the box. So, the first item is, it's called Little Gang Grape. This little, um, it sounds like Pop Rocks. Um, it says, this pouch is packed with great, great fun gum that starts off with pop rocks like crackle and ends as a tangy grape gum. Oh, I'm not a big fan of grape, but uh, let's uh, try this out. Skin colored type of rocks type things. Okay, um, I don't know, it's not bad. It's actually pretty tasty. What, can I swallow this though? It said it's gonna turn into gum. That's pretty good. Next item is, oh, uh, it has a little doggy on it. It's the Talking Puppy Chocolate. The cutest crispy rice chocolate bar around with a cute puppy on the package and a heat activated puppy pun joke card inside. Pretty interesting, so. Let's open this up. Little Yorkie on this one. I think this is the um, heat activated pun card. So maybe I can like put my thumb on there or something. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, but it's in Japanese, so I can't read the pun. <laughs> I wish I could speak Japanese. Look, it's like starting to show a little bit. I got it got a little bit clearer. So this is a chocolate bar. Mm. Oh. Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. Tastes like, um, if you guys have ever had the American Candy Crunch, I think it's called. It's like that, but it's not as crispy, but it's still really good. The chocolate is good. Is really good. Um, this next little item I got is from my neighbor Totoro, and I just watched this like last year. I remember this little guy. He's so cute. Um, but it's a bon bonus item. You can get like one of the ten figures, and I got this little guy. Okay, the next thing that I got are these. They kind of look like Snappy Crisps types of chips. So it's. Snow pea chips. Hey, they look exactly like snappy crisps. Mm. Mm hmm. That snappy crisps, so good. Chocolate banana pocky. Oh my god, this is so cool. Ooh, it smells like it smells like bananas, but like artificial bananas. I feel like I can't really taste the chocolate in them. Mm. It's good though. It just kind of tastes like um, those little banana candies that you used to get and like you put quarters in the machine and like the little fake fruits would come out. It tastes like the little banana shape thing. Okay, so the next item that I got is this um, chewing gum that paints your tongue red and black and it's cola flavored I'm not a big fan of soda but we'll give it a try okay it's it actually smells exactly like coca-cola and it's supposed to show you like where you chew gum so we'll see mm. 
when you chew it, it doesn't exactly taste like Coca-Cola, but it's got like a sweet flavor to it. It's really nice. If you don't want to see my tongue, then don't look, but... <laughs> I got half my tongue. Nice. <laughs> Next item that I got is this Kirby Blend Blend Mix Gum. Lots of gum in this box. Create your own flavors of gum using the five included base flavors. Watch out for gray. It's a prank color that blocks sweet flavors from your tongue. Why would you do that to anyone? We'll try yogurt and apple. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like apple. Mostly. Okay, next thing that... Ow! Oh, Ramune. I love Ramune. It's this little soda that you like pop the ball in. And it says it's supposed to give you a little fizzy punch too, so... No fizz. It's just like a standard sweet bubblegum flavor. It's good. Next one is White Chocolate Big Bar Z. So, a big wafer bar similar in texture to a giant Kit Kat. Oh. A once crunchy bar soaked in smooth, decadent white chocolate. Oishi? I think. Oh, I'm excited for this one. I love Kit Kat. Ah! Oh. Mmm, smells so good. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh my god. No, this is... Mm-mm. This is so good. This is like my new favorite thing. It's really just like... The inside of a Kit Kat, and then it's just, it's not like completely covered with white chocolate, it's just, like they said, like dipped in white chocolate. And the last thing that we have is the DIY thing, I'm guessing. Choco Kinako Mochi. Oh. It kind of, on the front it's like, um, shows like a little s'mores type thing. Looks like marshmallows with chocolate in the middle. See that? Build mini chocolate mochi with this unique DIY kit. Add water to the white discs to activate the mochi dip. And enjoy. Oh, that's kind of scary. But hey, I'm all for it. So, this is what it comes with. Um, I'm not quite sure like what to do with Okay, so I just made the little DIY. I'm guessing it's s'mores because, I mean, it looks like s'mores. These are the little mochi at the bottom that I put water into. Came with like a little packet of chocolate sauce and like little graham cracker, I'm guessing, sprinkles. So let's try one out. Oh, I don't know about this one. The mochi doesn't really have like a flavor to it. I feel like it's more for the texture because it's like squishy. And I don't know, it doesn't really taste like anything. I like the chocolate. But the, uh, I don't know, the mochi, it's just like squishy uh, gel, but like with no taste. I'm not the biggest fan. I know I will be enjoying everything in this Japan crate except for the mochi because I think that's done. There was a lot of um, bubblegum stuff in it which was interesting because I'm not a big fan of bubblegum so it was I guess nice to experience some new things. Now my two favorites, favorites would have to be the snappy crisps, well the snow pea crisps that I've had, I've had these before but like the American version, probably American wherever they're made. And then the Big Bar Z. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with the Japan Grape that I got because it's like my first time ever getting a subscription type box. It was, it was really cool. I'm looking forward to my next one. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and leave some comments. And I'll see y'all next time.